I'm Jacob. I'm Yuri. And we're going for a drive. Yeah. 2017 Honda Ridgeline. Black edition. Black edition. It's so black. 280 horsepower. Rip it. Let's see how fast it goes. Whoa, was that the VTEC? That was VTEC. Wow. That's cool. I didn't know VTEC actually did that, I guess. A, a truck with VTEC is actually hilarious. What, it, what does VTEC do again? It just moves things and cams and things inside the engine and makes it go faster and makes it louder. Oh, it makes it go faster. Yep. You, you save a considerable amount of gas when you're in eco mode. This is pretty good on gas. These, these ratcheting armrests that I've never seen before in any other car are amazing. This truck is a car truck. It is a car truck. And it comes in front wheel drive. Yeah, but this is all-wheel drive because it's a black edition. Yeah, but if it comes in front-wheel drive. Okay, blah, 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 body on frame, unibody. Let's get that out of the way, done. Okay, this thing rides incredibly well. Like, it's super comfortable. You can barely tomfoolery it. People say it's not a truck. I don't give a shit. People are, People are wrong. wrong. <laughs> is this the opposite of a Ford Raptor? Yes. Could not be farther from a Ford Raptor. But that's okay. It's completely fine. No one does Ford Raptor things every day. Because of the car-like suspension, it handles amazingly. Like, I can actually take turns pretty quickly in this. That's cool. I, I shouldn't have to, but I, I do. You're not gonna roll? No. Well, probably not. What about that tailgate? Yeah, that tailgate's cool. It's cool. Down and sideways. But the sideways tailgate doesn't always work the way you think it will. I tried moving something, and it just made it more awkward. You wanna have a party? You wanna have a tailgate party? Tailgate party. This is the tailgating truck. Yeah. Like the king of tailgating trucks. Rear speakers? Yeah. You can get the rear speakers to play while driving if you drive very slow. If you get stuck in traffic, you make everybody like the music you like. So also part of the truck bed is a trunk. Yes, that's the best part. The only truck that has a trunk. We got power buttons for everything, including that. So we're gonna take this on the highway because this has radar cruise, and lane keep assist. Right now, I just enabled it by pressing this little lane keep button, and I can theoretically take my hands off the wheel and the truck will drive itself, but I'm not gonna do that because that's illegal. So I'm just gonna have my hands really close. Yes, yes, really close. That's hover, right. Hover hands. See, look, it's actually moving the steering wheel to keep it in the lanes. This Wait. is like the movie speed. Like, I gotta maintain speed for the thing to work. Oh God, oh God. Oh, no, okay, 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 that doesn't work. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, so there's limits to the yeah. system. <laughs> no sharp turns. <laughs> Okay, that, that's not what it's intended for, but we had to try it. So we actually do have a couple off-road modes. We have normal, snow, mud, and sand. Oh, these graphics are cool. These graphics are awesome. So everyone wants to know if we can go off-roading. Let's test it out. All right. Of course it can. Amazing. Now let me drive this luxury car truck. See the traction off? Really? King of the road. They took the old ridge line and made it look more like a truck, and we have this. The important part is they put in that fake truck line. So yeah. it looks like the bed is disconnected. Yeah, that's a fake truck line, by the way. Make my truck look like a truck! <laughs> tail lights look cool, but they're not like spectacular. They're no just... one cares about tail lights on a truck. The headlights look all right, but it doesn't look spectacular creeping up in your rear view either. It also looks like a pilot creeping up in your rear view mirror. Yeah, yeah. You can't even tell the difference. So since this is the black edition, you get a lot of little custom things. All these little black edition badges on the front, on the seats, black wheels, super cool. I like that the front isn't chrome. It does make it look a lot more aggressive. The side view mirrors fold in with the touch of a button. What? Yes. I didn't know that. <laughs> Let's do the test. Oh, oh yes. yes. <laughs> I know one person who can't buy this car. Who? The person who orders a small cup of coffee at Tim Hortons. It doesn't fit in the cup holder. I like the rear seats, how they fold up. There's lots of room for stuff. Uh, the only problem is, which is a huge problem, the doors don't open enough to get big stuff in there yeah. without scratching your door panels. I hate that. The seats look really cool with this like perforated red leather stuff. Well, that's so that the air can come through and cool down your butt. But they didn't have to make that red. That took effort. The thing I hate the most is how the infotainment system, you need to click two buttons to go to your radio screen. All the time, two buttons. Ooh, two buttons. I hate it, it gets Ooh. annoying. Look at me, two buttons. Oh, that took an extra half second. And the graphic design behind this is awful. If these are your complaints, yeah. this is a pretty good truck. It is, that, like, they're weird complaints. Yeah. But they're my complaints. Which don't matter. You know, someone may not like my shirt and they'll complain about that. Whatever, <laughs> yes. they're wrong. Speaking of your shirt. So apparently the trunk is waterproof. Is it or are we just assuming? 
We're just assuming and we're gonna find out if it's All waterproof. Right. We'll put my shirt in there and see if it comes out wet. <laughs> Yes, it's, it's dry. dry. <laughs> One of the reasons I got a Honda Element instead of a Ridgeline, besides price, was because I wanted to keep my stuff secure. This thing can't fit as many boxes as an Element. Yeah, it can. Watch our box test video to find out. Click here. Or here. Jacob, are there any trucks you'd buy instead of this truck? I don't think there would be in this class. Out of this class? Ford Raptor, all day, every day. <laughs> all right, okay. So if you're not buying a Ford Raptor, buy a Ridgeline. If you drive in the city, buy a Ridgeline. If you don't tow stuff every day, buy a Ridgeline. If you like tailgate parties, buy a Ridgeline. If you like going to the drive-in theater, buy a Ridgeline. If you like gas mileage, buy a Ridgeline. Ridge <laughs> if you want to take jumps, buy a Raptor. Raptor. <laughs> <laughs> this is a subscription break. Don't subscribe. forget to subscribe. Subscribe right now, subscribe. We didn't even... Okay, mm. no, no.